as most of you do know, Anime Fighting Simulator has gotten really boring and there hasn't been anything else to do other than just AFK grind. But in this video, I am going to try destroying every single boss as fast as I can. Uh, so yeah, let's see how it turns out. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Anime Fighting Simulator video. So like I said, this game has gotten really boring and I really can't think of anything else to do in this game. Uh, so I'm just going to go and hop in every single dimension, every single boss that's in the game. I'm just going to go and really quickly speedrun the tier 5 just because... Uh, the other tiers are way too easy so i'm going to be doing tier 5 just to make it a bit more challenging and i'm going to keep the two dungeons for another separate video just because there are a good amount of bosses uh, so i'm going to be keeping the dungeons for another video for now i'm just going to get this to tier 5 and then start recording all right guys i'm it to tier 5 on kurama i'm going to be using the most broken method that is currently in the game which is using this combo hawks and the bloodline i have no clue how long it's going to make take me i already messed up uh 12.5 i'm not really sure what time to start at but again this isn't really going to be record time because it really depends on when my hawks decides to attack my luck really isn't the best but that was for Kurama. i'm not gonna waste any more time here and let's jump straight into dimension 2. all right dimension 2 brawly i'm gonna move into the center just so i can speed things up a bit more Go forward, I was one second longer than the Chroma boss. But I guess that makes sense just because it is a bit harder. Alright, let's move on to Dimension 3. Now we got Kaido for Dimension 3. These blue picks really look sick in this dimension. Okay, I messed up. Oh, same timing as this previous dimension, not bad. Alright, oh. I forgot what power does that. Anyways, let's move on to Dimension 4, I believe. Yeah. Dimension 4, Masked Villain. It's one of my favorite bosses from MHA. Oh, I missed. Oh, oh god. If I don't get this to a form, I'm gonna redo it. I was way too slow. Yeah, I'm doing that again, guys. Give me a second. I missed that up really bad. Okay, guys, attempt 2 of this boss. I was not paying attention to what I was doing first time. And there we go, 205. I'm gonna move on now. We got the Beast Titan for damage in 5, and I also did get this guy's a boost from fighting it last time for the forced tier. I really do not want to mess this up again. Oh, that went too long. Go for. I guess that's okay. I could have probably done 205. Uh, but I'm not gonna redo that. Let's move on to. I think I'm gonna wait for. Ooh, I still have that one hour boss thing that spawns every hour. But it's currently 30, so I'm gonna have to wait another 30 minutes for this boss. So I guess I'll do the other boss and then come back to this one whenever it spawns in. Um, the event bosses, I think I'm gonna start with that mission one. Alright, so the next one, I'll be doing the chapter one boss. The chapter two is a dungeon, so I'll be leaving that for the next video. Alright, Infernal. I'm not really sure if the old method with the broken uh, sun style and. I don't remember what champion it was, I think it was gone. Uh, that champion was quite broken, but they nerfed all of that. So I'm not sure if that was going to be broke, more broken than this. But I think it's the only current broken way you could do anything. Let's see how fast I can get this. Well, it takes me like 10 seconds just to get there. Oh, no way I didn't die from that. Oh god, it's going to be longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, 536. I have no clue where to start that again, so um, I don't know how long it took to do this boss. But I think it was fast enough, so um, let's just move on to the Christmas event bosses. The first event boss that we did have was Nicholas from SAO, so I'm just gonna do this first and then I'll move on to Rimuru. I haven't fought this boss recently at all. Oh my god. Wait, why is he so short? I thought I was taller than that. Bro, I'm too high to hit anything. Let me down. 
Bro, I couldn't hit anything because I was so high. I thought I was going to be taller. Dang, I messed this one up really bad. <laughs> Bro. Alright, I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to try not to jump so high because I thought I was going to be way taller. Alright, guys, attempt two. Another reason why I double jumped was I didn't think it was actually going to get me that high. Just because the other bosses, you just... Uh, it doesn't even let you jump that high. And I kind of got up here again. Oh my god. Where is he? Alright, I'm just gonna keep it at this. I have no clue just because uh, their boss settings are like all over the place. Some of the bosses you can double jump, some of them you can't. Some of them you run faster, some of them you run slower. Um, and I really haven't fought this boss from last year. Like, whenever it came back this year, I never fought it just because I have all the boss drops from last year. And so for chapter 2, we have Room Room. For those of you guys who have been tuning in on the stream, you guys know we have been going off on this. Uh, so this should be pretty easy. Okay, so I just realized that this might be a bit harder just because I can't start going off right off the bat. I need to stun Room Room and also for Odd because I'll have to stun him before uh, I end up jumping them. Just because they might destroy my HP before I get to destroy their theirs. Yeah, this was gonna be way faster if my champion actually hits more. It's only done this move once. Bruh, come on. My champion. Okay, there we go. Second time. Bruh, come on. Okay, so that was extremely slow comparing to what I was thinking was going to be. But my champion only attacked like three times and I could have attacked way more. Uh, my luck is just really bad. So you guys might be able to do this one a bit faster. Uh, so let's move on to Akaza now. Oh my God, this is going to be even harder just because he gets out of his stun halfway. Let's see how fast he can destroy this thing's HP. He's going out of this thing, we stun him. To back again. Oh god, I'm gonna cool down. And I might just die. Come on, Ox, come on. Damn, that was close. I mean, that's not bad for what I had to go through. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I guess that's okay. I think that's going to deal with all the bosses. The only thing I have left is Demon, which is going to spawn in in 20 minutes. Uh, so I'm just going to have to wait patiently until then. Two hours later. Alright guys, so I think I kind of went to AFK. I did not know when this thing spawned in. Uh, but I think it's less HP when, it's, when you're in a solo server. So that just hopped in a private server. In a public server, this is going to take like 10 times longer. Oh, that's that, guys. 526, I think that's way faster than my Akaza and other ones just because it doesn't get out of stun or anything. But I think that sums it up for every single boss in the game. I know Overlord is still left, uh, but that's part of a dungeon, so I'm going to leave that for the next video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be trying to speedrun Overlord dungeon as well as the normal dungeon. Those should be the two uh, that I will be doing in the next video. For those of you who still actually won the Rumor Champion, because I don't really have it either, make sure you guys turn on notifications, because I do stream on the weekends attempting to help everyone, including myself, trying to get the Rumor Champion. It really speeds it up when a lot of people have 
pox and just destroys and melts its hp just because when i try to fight rimuru solo it really takes longer than when it does with, with like five six people who have hawks just because hawks destroys and absolutely melts the hp uh but yeah if you guys do want rimuru or want to help fight rimuru you make sure you guys tune in on the weekend streams uh, but that's going to be it for this video hopefully i'll be able to keep up more content with this game just because it's really dull and it's hard finding content to make on this game but i'll try my best to keep you guys posted and let me know if you guys have any other better ways of fighting these bosses but i am pretty sure hawks and Krama mode is currently the fastest but again let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video